hello so in this video i am going to show you how you can edit sales price so first of all we have to display this stock master table so here i am going to add these things on menu here i am going to copy this li in edit.php just paste here and here i am going to write stock master and here we need to give page name stockmaster.php right now we don't have this page so we are going to create this page so i am going to just copy these things and you can see we need to display in this format and then after we are going to give here edit so i am going to copy the this table format of add product so first of all right click i am going to create new page stockmaster now i am going to open this add product just copy all the things and going to paste here and we don't need this php code just type delete it and i don't need this form tag also so for that div where this div is going to complete no not this one we need to find that div first Not this one also. Yeah, this one. So I'm going to delete this DA. And now here we can see the stock master. I just click on it and you can see we got this table. Now we are going to edit this table and edit this heading. So here. We don't need this. Yeah, we are heading here stock master. And now here we are going to display all the columns of this stock master table. So I am going to change here. stock master and we need to display product company product name product unit so here product company then product name then product unit Then product PTY. Then product selling price. And here we are going to write edit. And here we are going to write serial number. So for serial number, I am going to take one count variable. This is fine and now here we are going to write our all columns so first of all here dollar count then after product underscore company then product underscore name we have already product underscore unit Then product underscore QTY. Then product selling price. So I'm going to copy this column. And here we need one edit link. We can see right now we have one record so we can see here one record and now we have to perform this edit operation 
so for edit operation you can see we pass here already link so i am going to just copy this link and i am going to create new page yeah so we have this page now we need to take one design so we can take design of this page edit products.php so i am going to take design yeah edit products.php i am just copy these things and i am going to paste it now i am going to close this edit products page now when i click on this stock master it will open this page edit stock master now we are going to change according to us so here first of all edit stock price here also and now here we need to take all the text boxes so just i am going to take this text box paste here this is for product company so here product company then after for this text box we need product name so here product name we don't need this type of unit so i'm going to delete this after product name we need product unit so here i am going to write product unit after product we need we need product quantity so here product quantity and then after we are going to display product selling price so here product selling price now we are going to give your perfect name so product company we don't need this placeholder product company then after here product name already then product unit so product unit then after product qty and then after product selling file now we have to pass this parameter but before that we have to write here so here we have to id then product company so here dollar product company dollar product name dollar product unit then we need product quantity so dollar product qty and then after we need product selling price so dollar this is fine now just copy these things and paste here and we are going to fill this detail so dollar row now we don't need here dollar sign so i'm going to remove that sign yeah so we have all the details inside our variable and here we need to change our table name stock underscore master and we already take this id inside our variable so now here we need to pass product company then here product name this is fine then here product unit sorry then product
product quantity and here we need to give product selling price now we need to read only all the columns except only selling price i'll tell you why okay now i am going to show you now you can see because you don't need to change this company name product name product unit quantity only you need to change these things that's why we made read only all the fields and now here we need to change update and here only we need to fire one update query update stop master set product selling price is equal to dollar post and we need to give this name where id is equal to dollar id and or die Now here we need to display that message so for here uh, let me check we don't need this error message so just remove it and here id success success dot style dot display is equal to block and after a few minutes uh, sorry after a few set runs we are going to back on stockmaster.php so here i am going to write code set timeout then here function and 2000 it means two seconds after two seconds this script will execute and we are going to forward on window.location is equal to stockmaster.php now we are going to check product selling price i am going to write 8 update i got your message and after two seconds it will forward on stockmaster and here you can see our selling price is increased so this way we can update selling price and now when we are going to sell this product we are going to take this price thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it share it and subscribe it thank you so much again